if you've ever been curious about using wax seals in your card making or for your envelopes, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in today's video, I'll be sharing some new products from Spellbinders, including their wax seals and some of their wax seal collection stamps and dies. For full transparency, the stamps and dies were sent to me, but the wax seals were not, and I just decided to buy them on my own because they look so cool, and I have to tell you, they are a lot of fun to make. I also have a giveaway today of the Santa Lane exclusive kit from Spellbinders, and this giveaway is actually sponsored by my mom. She bought this kit and sent it to me so that I I could give it away to one of you. So stay tuned to the end of the video to hear how you can enter to win. But for now, let's check out the actual wax seals from Spellbinders. In order to get going in wax seals, I bought the Spellbinders wax seal starter kit. So I'll show you everything that comes inside. And I definitely recommend if you wanna get started with wax seals and have never done them before, this is a great kit that has a little bit of everything that you need to get started right away. So there's a silicone mat that you can work on that is heat resistant and you'll be able to peel the wax right off. This is the base. Now the only thing you don't get in this kit is a tea light candle which goes right inside that base. You do get a pouring spoon. I have heard that they are working on left-handed pouring spoons. So that may be coming in the future. You also get one wax seal stamp. This one says for you, has a circle and some leaves. And I love this box as well. There's a tiny little box that holds the wax beads that come in the starter kit and those are gold. But this package with the box makes it, it would be a really beautiful gift for the holidays as well, or a gift to yourself, you deserve it. So like I mentioned, you need some wax beads. I bought royal blue wax beads as well as pastel blue wax beads and then the starter kit came with the gold. I also bought an additional wax seal stamp. I bought the mandala and I also bought myself some A2 brushed silver silver envelopes from Spellbinders as well as some white hemp cord. So those are all the things that I purchased for myself. So I'm going to light my tea light candle and carefully put the base on top with the tea light coming through the candle light coming through and then put the spoon on top of that area and then to start with put four beads inside the spoon and the tea light will melt those beads and y'all I'm going to speed this up so you see them melt really fast so you don't have to sit here and wait for the beads to melt but I absolutely love the way that they look when they start to melt and then Yanis Makula, who is the design team coordinator for Spellbinders, had recommended in her video that you could use like a toothpick or your Spellbinders tool in one to kind of stir it to see if the wax beads are fully melted. Once they're fully melted, you can pour it right on the silicone mat if you want. So you can create these wax seals on the mat and then peel them off, or you can create them on the project. Since this was my first one, I decided to create it on the mat and I'm going to start with the mandala and just place it in the center of the pour that you just created. You don't have to stamp it down. You do this while it is still very liquid and then you just let it set and it may take a couple of minutes or a minute or so, I'm not exactly sure. When you're working on your next one, if there is some wax already in the spoon, you only have to put three beads in there. And this is where it gets really fun because you can create marbleized looks by adding a new color to the spoon when there's already a little bit of the old color in there. Now, it would definitely be handy to have an extra spoon so you could not you could create other colors and not have the marbleized look if you don't want it. But for right now, I just have the one spoon, so there's gonna be lots of marble <laughs> in my wax seals. And then again, I'm gonna place the second one that came with the kit right in the center of that pour and just let it sit. So once you see that it's kind of solidified there, you can just pop off 
the wax seal stamp and then it just really comes off the silicone mat as well and you can see that beautiful mandala that is impressed on the wax and it is dried so I'm going to add some of the pastel blue and pour that out it's got a little bit of the royal blue in it as well again a really pretty marbleized look it's really easy to pour and get it into a nice circle so that you're ready for the stamp to go on top. So just pour straight onto the mat and it will kind of flood into a circle all on its own. Here's the for you. If you have it a little bit stuck to a mat, a palette knife or something like that is a good spatula to peel it off. I love the two-toned effect. The other thing you can do is put it right on your project. So once I got the hang of the pour, I decided to try an envelope. And so I pour out the gold, it's got a little bit of the pastel blue in it, and I place the For You sealed stamp right on top, and then I let it dry. And you can see here, here's another mandala. I love the marbleized colors. So you can see on my project, my For You is a little tilt it. So what you can do is mark the bottom of the for you so that you know where to put it on your project and not have it be tilted like that. Okay, so I'm going to try this again because I really want to get this right. So I am just going to pour out some royal blue and pastel. And I think this time I just went with the mandala. So with the mandala, it's a symmetrical pattern. So there's no top or bottom. You can just place it on there. Once I had a little air bubble in the side. So I just used that palette knife that I was using to pop it and it seemed to be fine. I'm going to pour some more of the mixed colors onto the silicone mat because it is super addicting. I mean, just pouring out the wax for some reason is very therapeutic and then just laying the seal stamp inside, I don't know. I, it's, I just found it so much fun to create these. I really loved it and I was really hoping that I had more colors so I'll definitely be buying some new colors as well because I really wanted to do other things and see what mixed well and what didn't. You can also use some type of paint pen or acrylic marker to use a little bit of accent to draw out the pattern of the mandala or to draw out the words. And that's why Spellbinders has some deco brush pens for sale that they have a beautiful rose gold that I may try and pick up. But I used white on these and then I tried gold and I'm using the Karen markers deco brushes, which are also uh, the acrylics or they stay on top of the paper. So they really work well. You just have to put a slight brush or a slight hint on top and it really calls out the details of the seal stamp and makes them really easy to see on those backgrounds. Look at that one. I really love that. It's kind of a swirl of two colors, almost looks like a yin and a yang, and then it says the for you on it. You can just wipe off your spoon on a rag and it will come perfectly clean. Now, let me share some of the wax seal collection, stamps, dies, foil plates, and stencils. Let's first start with the geometric optical background foil plate. I'm gonna place the plate down on my glimmer machine and I'm using the grid lines to keep it straight so that I can hopefully keep it straight on my cardstock. I'm gonna place some silver foil with the shiny silver side down onto the foil plate and the dull side facing up towards me. Then I'm gonna place my cardstock. I've cut it in half by eight and a half by 11 in half so that I can even cut it down to an A2 and get it straight once I cut it down. And I put my two plates on top of it, the plate and the shim, and I ran it through my platinum machine. And let's peel it off and reveal that beautiful pattern. So you can see I have plenty to create an A2 background there. And I also did gold on pink cardstock. If you're struggling with colorful cardstock and foiling, try the Spellbinders cardstock. It's really perfect for the glimmer machine and I did gold on white as well. So now let's take a look at the layered geometric optical stencils. Now this is a four pack of stencils and you can see that it works perfectly with that foil plate. You can color in all the elements 
of the foil plate, including the circles, the little squares, or you can just do one or two things. So I started with those little squares and diamonds, and I'm using a Spellbinders blending brush and some Distress Oxide in Blueprint Sketch. So I'm just blending on the areas that are those little open areas, which is just sort of the in-between spaces in this pattern. I like that just as it is. I thought that was really cool. But I decided to do the circles as well. So this time I'm using tumbled glass distress oxide. So I'm going with a blue and white background. And it kind of reminds me of that china pattern that has all the blues and whites on it. But it's just such a fun geometric look that can be used for so many different cards. And then you still see all of that beautiful foiling in the pattern that is created there. So I'm just gonna peel off the stencil and the pixie tape. I did buy this for myself. This is the Essential Arches Etch Dies. You get a ton of arches. I really like the way the arches look. I'm gonna use the Sealed Sentiment stamp set at the bottom of this arch, and this time I'm going to stamp with the Distress Oxide ink. You absolutely can stamp with Distress Oxide. Sometimes it takes two or three to get a great stamp, but just keep doing it with the mini misty and you'll get a really pretty color for your sentiment. Then I'm gonna tie some cord around the top of the arch. You can see I've matted the glimmer background that we created with the glimmer and the stencil on some blue cardstock. And then I'm going to adhere one of the seals that I created on the mat with some liquid glue. I actually started with a foam square and then I squirted some liquid glue behind it just to make sure that it really stayed because I think wax is tough to adhere down if you don't use a strong, strong adhesive like Thermoweb Ultra Bond. For this next card, I'm gonna use the Faux Wax Seals Stamps and Dies. So you can see there are three dies in this set and there are also stamps to create those faux wax seals, and then there are sentiments and that would be sort of the seal stamp. So I cut out a little circle from this hot pink cardstock and I'm going to place it back into the negative place on that A2 piece of cardstock and I'm going to this way line up the sentiment perfectly. I'm gonna white heat emboss that sentiment on top and then just heat set that to melt that embossing powder and the tool in one comes in handy in many different ways. I held that in place while I was heat setting it as well. I'm going to mat the foiled background on some of that hot pink cardstock that I'm using on the seal. And I tied some cord around with a bow. So I love the way that the dies layer on top of each other to give you kind of a two-toned effect. And then you can pop that circle sentiment right inside. And it just looks just like a wax seal. So if you're not interested in you know having a candle and doing all the wax seals, I will say they are super fun, but if you're not interested, try these faux wax seals. They have kind of the same effect. You could put like a glaze on top if you wanted to make them look shiny. So I just cut those ends of the cord and just, it looks super cute. It does look cute. So they are a lot of fun to create as well. I'm going to cut out the silver on blue foiled background with a large, arch from that arch die set. And then I cut a smaller arch with dark blue cardstock. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before. I'm gonna pop that smaller arch back into the A2 that I cut it out of so that I can line up my stamp and then heat emboss it with white embossing powder. Love the way it stands out on that dark blue cardstock. And that cardstock is also from Spellbinders. Love their blue colors, their pink colors, all of their colors are gorgeous. So I've cut some cord and I'm gonna wrap it around, trying to get it to look like it's wrapped around three times so that it gives it a little bit of texture and just kind of looks more organic. And then instead of a bow, I just tied this into a knot to try and hold it in place. I didn't quite get it tight enough, so I'm messing with the cord a little bit here, trying to get it to stay exactly where I want. Once I have it in place, I put two pieces of foam tape over it to pop this arch up and also 
hold that cord exactly where I wanted it. So then I'm able to put some liquid glue right on the knot. And you can see I started with a little dab, but I really want this third string to stay where I want it. So I put more liquid glue. It's okay to use this much of the Ultra Bond. You don't have to. It's a pretty strong adhesive, but just let it dry for like a while when you use that much. And I love the way these wax seals look right on the cards rather than just putting them on the envelopes. For the giveaway today, as I mentioned at the beginning, it is an exclusive Santa Lane kit from Spellbinders. It is new, in the box, unopened. You may remember the video that I filmed about the Santa Lane kit, and I'll link to that here if you want to check it out. All you need to do is have a US address and fill out the Google form in the YouTube description box below the video. Please beware of spammers. Don't give anyone your phone number. I'll never ask you for it. And please don't pay anyone. I never ask for money. That's why I keep my giveaways to the United States so that I can afford to send them out. I'd love to know if you're interested in the wax seals. I have found making them so much fun. It's kind of a calming therapeutic craft and I'll be buying more wax and other seals as well. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Head won't be in the way. <laughs> I'll just be in the blank spot, there we go. <laughs> loud, loud. You may remember, you may remember the, and I'll link to that. Thank <laughs> you.